Welcome back friends. Today we are going to look on the topic of heat sources and flames. And this is form 1 chemistry. So I am the one whom I am leading, Dr. Mnela. In introduction, in the laboratory we are using different kinds of heat sources. Tovu kwa maabara tunakona tumia vitu palimbali. Kwa tunavifaa mbali mbali mbafu tunatomia kwa jiri ya kupashia, kwa jiri ya kuchomea vitu mbali mbali during laboratory or during chemist experiments. So in introduction, a large number of chemical reaction in the laboratory they require heat. So why are they requiring heat? Because heat increases the rate or the speed of the chemical reaction. So now what is heat? Somebody or a teacher can ask you what is heat? Heat the form of energy so it the form of energy and this energy by definition you define energy is the capacity or the ability of doing work so what are the sources of heat now let's go directly what are the sources of heat these are the sources of heat in the laboratory of bunsen burner spit burner gas stove electrical heater kerosene stove charcoal burner and etc so among these we have the most common most common sources of heat in the laboratory which are Bunsen burner, spirit burner and gas stove. Bunsen burner, we shall discuss it soon. Spirit burner, spirit and gas stove, nijiko la gas. So, the burners, we define them as these as the source of heat in the laboratory. All burners use fuel or electricity. So heat may be a form of natural fuel such as coal, gas, spirit, ethanol, electricity. When fuel burns, they produce heat and light. So the common source of heat, heat source, the common heat source in the battery are burns and burn. Now let's discuss about the burns and burner. Burns and burner, most of the experiments in the battery, they are done. And the burns and burner is the machine which is used during these experiments in the chemistry laboratory. So it was firstly it was firstly created or it was made firstly by the Robert Bunsen in 1885. Now this is the diagram of the Bunsen burner and as you can see here in the diagram of the Bunsen burner here as you can see here that we have different parts of the Bunsen burner here in the top of your Bunsen burner and from there we have a hole here from there we have another hole here so this hole this one is for gas for the gas upon to make a pillar gas and this hole is for air that's why we call this is air hole and this one is the gas hole and here we have a base of the Bunsen burner. So from here, this is the metal ring or the collar, which you can adjust it. So what is the what is the what is the the function of each part now? This base is just for support. But here we have a pipe, a pipe point or a jet, where the gas enters. So the gas comes from this way and enters into the Bunsen burner. So when the gas enters into the Bunsen burner, here in the air hole, you can allow either the air to enter or not to enter. So from there, the gas just ascends and then from there here is where we have the flame. So now we have two types of flame and the two types of flame, depending on whether the air here, it enters or it doesn't enter, as we shall discuss it later so these are the parts of the Bunsen burner so we have base we have gas hole we have pipe point you have jet we have air holes and some of the teachers they can ask you to just draw and label the Bunsen burner and I'm sure for you my students it, it couldn't be the tough tough work for you and as you can see here the functions the base is just to support gas hole can allow the gas to enter pipe jet collar air holes so how to light a Bunsen burner? First connect the Bunsen burner to the labor tube to the gas supply, then close the air hole. First close the air hole, then turn the gas tap on. Let it sufficient gas 
and then quickly bring a flame at the top of the barley and this is usually done by using the matchstick kiberit na washa kutumia kiberit turn the collar to adjust the air hose until you get a type of flame you want and then number 6 adjust the gas tape until the gas supply enough to produce a non luminous flame so remember that in the Bunsen burner we have generally two types of flame and here we are going to discuss the, about the flame flame ni ule moto wenyewe tunaoona so in the Bunsen burner a flame we can say that it is the burning gas that gives out heat and light so the flame is formed when the fuel burns to give out heat and light so we have two types of flame luminous and non luminous flame so in the luminous flame luminous flame is the flame which is formed when the air hole is closed as i told you earlier that it depends the air hole is closed or opened so the type of flame formed depends on whether the air hole is closed or it is open and by characteristics the luminous flame it is bright yellow in color it burns quietly it has four zones it's it is smoke and foam soot on the apparatus it is unstable and it is it is hot so the non luminous flame generally is the flame which we are normally see the flame produced from candle flame produced from the firewood it is always the non it is always the luminous flame because it is always bright yellow in color and this is the diagram which shows the the luminous flame as you can see it has four zones and here here the our candle our candle wax and here we have different zones we have blue zone we have an burnt gas zone then we have the thin outer zone and then we have luminous yellow zone so this is the diagram and you can see here another diagram which describes well on the on the appearance of the luminous flame we have outer zone then we have hottest part we have moderate hot then middle zone and the, the last part which is an burnt gas so this is the candle and non-luminous flame is always produced from the candle now let's go to the luminous flame in the luminous flame luminous flame is the flame which does not give much light it is formed when air holes are opened so characteristic of a non-luminous flame it is blue in color it is a noise so when it burns it gives out a noise kwa wale ambao una majiko ya gesi nyumbani ukiwasha gesi unasikia natoa kelele fulani yani pale ambapo moto unakuwa unawaka that noise it is because that is non luminous flame it has three zones it does not form soot it is steady it is very hot very hot luminous is hot but this is very hot so this diagram shows you the non luminous flame and it is always formed in the bunsen and burner or it is formed in the gas stove so it has just only it has only three zones as you can see here and here is another diagram showing the the non luminous flame but this is more precious because the non luminous flame it is blue bluish in color so uses of non luminous flame non luminous flame is used for heating purpose in laboratory used for wedding used at home for cooking used in flame test so in a flame test we can take any metal labda nachukua sodium au zinc then ile metal tunaichukua na yake kwa spatula tukishaweka kwa spatula tunaweka pale juu ya moto then from there tunaangalia color ya flame inayotokea labda it's golden yellow we know it's sodium or maybe the color is bright yellow so all of those colors indicate such different metals in the home cooking kwenye majiko ya gas in the welding tunavochomelea vyuma na used for heating purpose in the laboratory by using bunsen burner and then we have other examples of luminous flame tuna coal gas flame we have kerosene lamp flame firewood flame candle flame and other examples of non luminous flame we have kerosene stove flame we have gas cooker flame ambayo ndo majiko nyumbani ya gas then you have oxy acetylene flame then you have bunsen burner so from there i think you have already discussed these other examples so striking back the concept of striking back what is striking back striking back we are saying that when a bunsen burner is burning to form a non luminous flame and a gas tap is turned off slowly the supply of the gas is reduced in the gas air mixture 
so the mixture contain very little gas and much air. Such mixture burn rapidly to form explosion. In this case, the flame will be accompanied by pop sound. And this is called the burning back. That pop sound is what we call the burning back. At this time, the rate of burning, the rate of burning the gas is greater than the rate at which the gas it is supplied. So that's what we call the concept of burning back. And here we have difference between the between the luminous and non-luminous flame. So the first difference is formed when the arrows are closed, formed when the arrows are opened. And the second difference complies of three zone, complies of four zone. Uh, I think these these difference yeah they are correct. Very noisy, silent, form no smoke and as we have di already discussed the characteristics so no need of just discussing these again but you can just read these they are understandable and here is the diagrammatical difference differentiation between the luminous and non-luminous flame in the left hand side here we have luminous and here in the right hand side we have non-luminous flame and we have used uses of different types of flame for heating purpose used for flame test of different chemicals it is suitable for welding purpose, suitable for cooking and different uses. So here they are Levitian questions. Simply they are just Levitian question, Levitian question and they are very easy to answer them. And let me tell you that thank you everybody. Next topic is matter. So let us meet in the next topic which is matter where we shall discuss different concepts of, about matter, states of matter, about the elements, compound and the mixture, and all the things like that in this next topic. Subscribe my channel for more updates and for any comment, for any part which you are not understood, for any question, you can just comment and I will put the link for my telegram group where you can subscribe my channel group. You can, you can join my, my telegram group for more question and discussion on in other in other things there is a application in the app store you can download it and there you can assess these notes you can use them for study and you can assess the quizzes and you can assess even the different types of the discussion with your fellow students for more and more in your chemistry performance let me wish you nice studies and let's meet in the next lecture on matters. Thank you.